There are Etsy shops selling AI art as digital downloads, making over $11,000 every single month. This business can make a ton, but historically, it's been a huge pain to get an AI art shop like this set up. Designing the art is fun and simple, but then cropping, upscaling, mocking up, plus uploading to Etsy and writing titles and tags is where the real pain sets in. My name is Alec, and I started selling AI art on Etsy at the end of 2023, and within my first year, I was doing months like this. Plus, I've been a programmer for over 10 years, and I've written code for million and even billion dollar companies. And today, I have built an automation system that has made this business more accessible than ever before. There are around 200 sellers in my community using this system right now. So while it's proven to work, it's still early enough that you can get in before most sellers even know it exists. In this video, we're gonna walk through some brand new AI features and some crazy updates to the system. By the end of this video, you'll know just how easy it is to create shops like these six-figure sellers with only a few minutes of work, not a few hours or a few days. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Well, 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 looks like we have another classified CIA document here, and we're going to declassify it in this video. This one's a cute little mini one, but it really packs a punch, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said in the beginning, we're going to be talking about AI art on Etsy, okay, obviously. But on top of that, I just want to point out that while there are high returns, like I showed, six-figure sellers, 11K per month or more, like some of these other sellers who have made millions of dollars like Northburns, um, there's also a high workload, okay? So it's not all sunshine and rainbows, or at least it wasn't in the past. Before you had to crop and upscale and mock up your art to make it Etsy ready, plus like write the title, write the tags, fill out the description, write custom alt text, fill out your attributes. Like creating listings through the Etsy UI is a total pain. If you've ever done it before, you know what I'm saying. So it's kind of had a huge barrier to entry. Um, until today, <laughs> honestly, because when I started selling on Etsy, which was at the end of 2023 and then into 2024, like I ran into these issues. And so honestly, I created this automation system for myself to just solve this and give me all my time back. Uh, and it kind of has become extremely powerful and I just, I want to share it with the world. So that's what this video is about. And that's what the community with the link below is about. So first and foremost, this automation system really has a name and that's called downpour, okay? There's another piece of it, which is a script that does like the cropping and mocking up, which is a huge piece of the automation. Um, but downpour is kind of the bread and butter that brings it all together, okay? And this is a software, you get it totally free as a part of the AI Art Sellers Collective membership down below. And it's essentially an Etsy bulk uploader for digital products, okay? Pretty simple, right? Bulk uploader, you just drag and drop a bunch of files and it uploads them right to Etsy. But it doesn't just upload stuff, okay? It actually does some crazy stuff that we're gonna walk through live and you're gonna see it in action. So you can be the judge if it's crazy or not. Um, but Downpour has been integrated over the last few months with AI features that finally make it easier. Because even when these automation systems existed, uh, kind of in their like first V1 prototype models, it was still a little bit manual. Like we would use Google Sheets and use like custom chat GPTs to uh, write the titles and tags and like copy and paste it from Excel and all kinds of stuff. And it was just, it was a little more automated, but it was still a total pain. Um, and so, yeah, today this is totally changed and it's, it's crazy. So anyway, I'll stop saying it's crazy. But um, first and foremost, we have AI titles and tags, okay? So that's like the moneymaker on Etsy is the title and the tags, okay? 140 characters for the title, 13 tags, each 20 characters or fewer with a few other rules as well. And these are kind of like the search signals for your art listing or whatever listing on Etsy. It could be a cutting board, right? They're the little search signals that say like, this is a fall oil painting or this is a Santa Claus holiday painting or this is a cutting board, right? Um, they're just packed with SEO, search engine optimization to get your product to rank in front of the right proper buyer who is like most apt to buy it, right? That's the whole kind of game. And it's kind of been a pain to make sure that these are the proper characters and the proper syntax and format and all this stuff, or if they're even good at all. Um, but with the automation system, I just wanted to kind of get rid of all of those thoughts, all that decision fatigue or whatever else gone. So essentially AI titles and tags have been really like meticulously trained to be perfect characters, okay? It uses GPT-5 model, it's been updated, um, and it actually looks at your art with GPT vision and it uses custom trained model on bestsellers and all kinds of other SEO guidance 
to just create the perfect titles and tags with like everything you would ever need um, based on real bestsellers. Okay, and like I said, we're gonna show this in action, but not only that, but there's also been another addition to Downpour to create even more custom SEO, and that is AI descriptions. So yeah, not only is it titles and tags written by AI, totally dynamic, SEO driven, like keyword packed, but descriptions can also be written with AI too. And that's in the form of these little wild cards. So you can say like subject. And so you could run 10 different designs. One's a little puppy, one's like a Christmas, one's like a Santa, one's like a, a hedgehog. And it'll look at the design and fill in subject for each of those. And subject could be one word, or you can tell it to be a whole paragraph. Like, it's pretty cool. And then that means the static parts of your description can stay, like the sizes that you provide and stuff. Yeah, so pretty pretty cool. And uh, we're gonna show this in action. But the one last thing I wanna point out before we get into our little demo here is there's actually been an even bigger update that might not seem that big, and that is AI alt text. So each image on the internet, pretty much across the entire internet ecosystem has an alt text field, which is kind of like this accessibility field where you can store text that kind of describes what the image is for. But in like e-commerce sites like Amazon or Etsy, um, alt text is used to rank the images and sort of like describe what the product's about. So it's just another way to rank the product in front of the right buyer who's apt to purchase. And the big update, especially from today, is that we have now implemented 20 listing images into Downpour, no longer 10. We support the 20 images that um, Etsy has allowed as well. And that means 20 AI alt texts get written for your listings automatically for no extra charge, no extra uh, credits or anything like that. It's all just like, it's all included, all right? Every single listing that you generate just uses one downpour credit uh, and you get 2000 credits a month. So, I mean, unless you're uploading 2000 listings a month, like you should be good. And those are just refresh monthly, so. Yeah, you get more than enough. It's really just for people who like, I want to have a ceiling in case somehow someone spammed this AI software or something, but yeah. So it's all included and it's pretty dang powerful and we're going to walk through it. So let's go ahead and do it. So if I pull up the art in my folders here, I already ran these through the Tempest automation script that does all the cropping and mocking up and everything. So if I go to the vertical output folder, you can see I have nine designs right here. And if I go into one of them, I don't just have 10 mockups. I actually included 20 of these guys, including the size chart, okay? So these are 20 different mockups, right? And you can see, I mean, there's there's a lot, right? There's like this one, really nice, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. so many, right? And uh, you know, if you're curious, you can actually get every single one of these mockups for free um, as a part of the AI Art Sellers Collective. If you join below, if you join with the premium plan, which is actually 25% cheaper than the standard plan, um, you can get the Christmas ones too. That's like just a free bonus that we just set up for that premium plan. Otherwise, these just come with the founders mock-up pack that you get as a part of the group, same with the size chart. But anyway, um, yeah, here's 20 mock-ups. And the way the script works is it actually creates it for every single art design, right? So like here's an art design of like some skiers you can kind of see. Um, let's do another one, frozen stream. So like this little fox guy right here, a little cutie. Um, see any other interesting ones, Hillside Orchard, this nice cabin. If we zoom in like this, you can see them right here. Perfect. Look at that. That is just that perfect vibe. Um, yeah. So that's kind of how it works. And then on top of that, for products on Etsy, you're going to want these five cropped and upscaled images. Okay. So two by three, like you can see, it's a little bit skinnier, two by three, three by four, four by five, like, etc. Um, and these are very highly upscaled if I go to details and then sort by dimensions. Uh, yeah, so 6,000, 8,000, like pretty highly upscaled. Uh, these sizes are like exactly what you'll need to attach directly to Etsy. You can even make them bigger and attach them to Google Drive if you'd like. Um, but essentially like that's how that works, right? So each one of these listings worth of folders, like these are all listings. Each listing has cropped images mockups. Okay, does that make sense? So that's kind of how this works. And this automation just like runs it all through and creates all this stuff. You just go into this input folder here and you just put in all your art designs, all nine, and you hit go and the mockups are already in a different folder and it just runs it through all of them and crops all of them. And what you end up with is that output folder I was just showing. So all nine of these, right? Like it maps to one-to-one. -one. Anyway, 
it's not as complicated as I might make it sound. I like to ramble about that. But anyway, um, so essentially what you have to do at this point, there's really only one last step and it's pretty cool. So here's Downpour. This is the automation software that I've spent like thousands of hours building. Um, it's kind of the bread and butter of the like the AI or Sellers Collective as a whole. And essentially what you do is you just fill out a listings worth of like a template and then you can just drag and drop your folders and go on your merry way. So this is pretty cool. So we just added the show more button. So now you can see all 20 mockup slots here and you don't have to type each one of these in one by one, like blah, 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 whatever, right? So you can actually just hit clear. And what you can do is you can click this little camera icon and all the way at the bottom, there's so many listing images now, but there's a new screenshot field here, okay? So this is pretty cool. I feel like in a lot of softwares don't really do this, but you can actually go into your folders and because there's so many, you're gonna wanna sort the view by uh, details and make sure this is expanded, right? Can't see the full file names here. Make sure this is expanded. And then you literally just hit print screen on your keyboard and just take a little screenshot of these guys, right? And if I just uh, paste this into this paste area here at the bottom, control V, it's actually gonna use AI to look at that screenshot and fill in all 20 of our mockups automatically, like without us literally doing anything. And remember each of those um, listings have the exact same mockups with the same file names. So we just have to do this once and we can upload all nine of the listings like we just showed. So here they are, right? And then it's just a matter of like, okay, I know close up gray wood is my primary. Like, I think I want the size chart to be at the end for 20. Uh, you know, I want this one or maybe this one to be number two, right? You can hit save. So yeah, that's kind of all there is to it. And now we have our 20 <laughs> listing images all set up. Uh, you can set up a bunch of other stuff like info cards, videos, digital files. You can see I already have those set up. Uh, listing details, we can add additional attributes like the orientation as vertical or the sizes we provide. And then we can do those AI description wildcards like I mentioned as well. So you have the season wildcard here, which, aut oops, which automatically creates this AI prompt. Use AI to write a clear season that fits smoothly into the sentence, blah, blah, blah. The sentence, right? Same thing with C uh, subject, it's the exact same sentence. So it kind of sends all that to the AI to give it like a context plus a prompt. So yeah, it's just kind of all automatic. And then uh, all you have to do, we have this big list of our output right here. You just go back one folder and all you have to do is click and drag this guy and just drop it right in here. And it is gonna break apart the entire tree structure of your folders and stuff and files. And it's going to turn them into listings and kind of set them up and map them into their own Etsy products. So it's literally breaking apart 225 right now and like no warnings or anything, I found everything properly. So here's image number one, or here's listing number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, da, 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 all the way up to 20. We have all of these listing images that it kind of caught as it was um, going through the tree that we just dragged and dropped. And same with the files. And look at them, they're all uploading right now. Um, and the last thing I'm gonna do just before I start talk, like rambling here is I'm gonna open this AI auto-generate panel pick my favorite mockup, which normally is just gonna be number one, your primary, because it's the most clear, and then just click generate. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna use ChatGPT5 vision on the back end, send image number one, because that was our reference image, to the AI, break it apart, like get a feel for it, you know, hang out with the image a little bit, and then turn it into an SEO optimized title, tag set, and these keyword um, wildcards for your description, and, and, and 20 different alt texts, um, all Google slash Etsy optimized. It's optimized for both with proper formatting and um, like dynamic content that spreads different keywords out. So it tries not to reuse the same keywords. And then we call it a day. That's pretty much it. So as you can see, uh, it's at 44%. It's doing so couple of the nine so far. Here's our title. Pally painting, snowy seaman pines, blue peaks, impressionist landscape, serene all art digital, winter wall art, impression style, and Pine valley art. So we have our title tags, description wildcards that fill in directly to our description. Immerse yourself in vintage winter, right? That was season. Charm with this vintage style printable wall art of a serene alpine valley blanketed in snow. Gorgeous, right? And then our alt text. Uh, so maybe we zoom in here, but you can see like cool winter beauty artwork for study, 
Impressionist painting featuring vibrant whites and deep blues, ideal for serene atmosphere. Winter Wonderland painting wall art for dining room, like so study dining room, right? This one is a alpine for bedroom. Winter view, snow trees, majestic blue peaks, like rustic winter scene for cabin decor, right? Bright whites, pine trees, so breakfast nook. Like it's just trying to spread the SEO wealth a little bit uh, from keyword keyword. And like, as you can see, I mean, so this one's the last guy still writing, but like all these other ones, number three is written, four is written, five's written, six is written, right? So it's really as simple as that. Everything's already uploaded. Like the files are all ready. Everything is ready. Um, and then it's just a matter of kind of uploading to Etsy once you're done. You can even upload to Google Drive. Um, and one thing that, you know, I haven't really pointed out is you can change these manually. Like this one just popped in. If we want to change it, like wall design print, right? Maybe we want to be that, right? You can just hit save. So you're still in full control. You can change all this stuff, um, including the alt text, right? You have full control. So it just allows you to make products exponentially faster than ever before. Um, normally, like you have to go into the Etsy UI and add all this stuff manually. You can kind of do a copy so that some stuff's already filled out, but it's just a total pain. Whereas here, it's like you do that drag and drop, you hit the button, it auto generates everything. And then you just click upload and we, yes, we want to upload our nine draft listings. And then you just kind of rock and roll. And like, now we can leave. <laughs> now we can go take our car out for a, for a nice Sunday drive or do whatever we want to do. And it, this thing will just upload in the background. Um, and that's the same with the cropping and mocking up step too. It's all this big background process. So it's all just, it's all easy. It's all just simple and easy. You know, as a programmer, that's the name of the game, simple and easy. Um, yeah, so just to kind of close the loop on this, if I go to uh, here, I'll make this smaller and I'll go to my Etsy shop like this. Um, and you can see in my draft listings here, a couple have already popped in. You can see all of our 20 listing images, which is crazy. I feel like that's so many. I uh, got it. And our thumbnail looks great. Our images are all set up, like the files, which is the actual upscaled product. Uh, our description's looking good. Zoom up. Vintage Winter Charm, Wall Art of a Serene Snow-Covered Alpine Valley. Great price, quantity. We've got our category, orientation, aspect ratio, tags. Yeah, it's just all automatic and all, you know, good to go. So anyway, I'm a huge fan. I just want to show off those new downpour AI features, specifically like 20 listing images and 20 AI alt text. It's just passive and easy. And yeah, I mean, the more complicated that Etsy becomes, especially with like 20 images instead of 10, like, I don't know, in my opinion, the more that automation and stuff like this is going to make it even easier. Because imagine, imagine now uploading 20 images manually or cropping them or mocking them up in Photoshop manually. Like that just is crazy talk. I can't even imagine it. It takes so long. Um, so that's why I built this system. And that's why, you know, 270 people in my group right now are just like crushing by using it and saving hundreds of hours of time and just kind of like getting their lives back. Um, I know I got my life back when I started using the system, like the <laughs> prototype that I had back in 2024. Um, yeah, so it's just awesome and I'm a huge fan. But anyway, leave a comment if you have any uh, questions. I'll get to it in the next YouTube Q&A. I'll just answer it directly in that video. I love seeing the comments, it's awesome. Or just leave a like on this video if you really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and feel free to check out the AI Art Sellers Collective below. It's pretty cool. You get pretty much everything we just talked about, like included for free. It's all included. Um, plus, you know, access to the community, access to myself, obviously. And like, yeah, it's just, it's just really fun. We do like monthly giveaways for $350 in prizes. It's awesome. So anyway, you know, thank you for being awesome. I believe you can do anything you put your mind to. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.